like chubby crumbs. Clean out their water, put fresh water in. Our pavilion. And then we have our boardwalk here. And then you walk down the boardwalk on top of all this crunchy snow. Over here is our tiki bar. Um, and then continue down the boardwalk. Oh, behind the tiki bar right here is going to be an outdoor bathroom. I'm gonna put a tank in, put a real toilet, real um, uh, sink and everything. It's gonna look pretty nice, like a real indoor bathroom. This year though, I might just get a porta potty and set it up on top of here just because of timing. I wanna be able to get the cookhouse done. So that's probably gonna be a temporary thing. Over there is the water tank that's gonna feed um, the outdoor shower, the outdoor bathroom, whatever else we need. So back walking on the boardwalk with all the wonderful snow. Over there's the bottom deck to the pool. I'm gonna do the top um, deck part next year because I wanna again work on the cookhouse. So the um, boardwalk's gonna go all the way over to the pool. You can see I still have some, that's probably really loud. You can see I still have some pieces to do. So I'll videotape how I do that. Um, it's pretty cool. And then over here, I'm gonna add off of the boardwalk, another piece of the boardwalk to connect to the entrance of the cookhouse. All right, so what did, uh, what have I been up to the last couple of days on this? So down here, it's probably about a foot, foot and a half off the ground, which is pretty high. So I didn't want it to be too high. I mean, we are gonna have a boardwalk come up to it right here uh, as to walk right into it. So the other day I was out, it was kind of cold like it is now with all this snow. And what I did was I dug this hole in order to set that down and it'd be able and to I didn't record because it was very boring. Um, and you can see over there, I kind of just put it over there just to get it done because I want to move pretty fast on this cook, on the cookhouse here. So what I want to do now is I want to put the uh, hangers on for the cross members to go on. So that's about what I'm going to work on. And you can see I dug down deep enough these two and this one. So, um, to take one of these and six inches and put it through here and really pull everything together. Yeah, that really pulled it in. So I'm going to do every other one like that.
When I put this one in, right there, it went in, must have hit a really bad knot because it came out the side over there. Um, so I'm gonna have to find a way to either break the head off of that one because I'm not gonna be able to pull it out. I tried to drill it out, but it's not coming out, so. Should have probably moved it when it's a bit warmer out. So maybe we just leave that there and we build around it. <laughs> nice frozen tree ball. Comes my Home Depot load. All right, all right, all my sheathing and flooring. I got nine pieces of tongue and groove, three quarter inch for the floor, and then I got the rest of the sheathing for the exterior walls. So what I did here was I have these two outside pieces with the four by four, and then I have this outside that's 12 foot. But then on this inside piece here, I have an uh, inside joist hanger where the second one is running. So it's really beefed up. And then I have that nailed with my air gun. So this piece is like laminated together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these wood locks. I'm gonna put one through this back one since that's where my inside joist is holding up this one. And I'm going to put another four incher beside that into this wood. Yeah, I'm just reinforcing everything. All right, so now this backboard is really locked in. The board that has all the trusts nailed into it, I have that one locked in on the side over here. I'm going to put two of the long six inches through here right now. It's going to go through this and the back one. So it's really going to tie everything together there. Plus, I put the six inches through the, here to even lock, pull that all nice and tight too. So this should be pretty, pretty secured. So this will this will go through both of these, and it'll really tie it together. And I'll put one over here. down on the next diagonal. All right. I'm going to put insulation in the floor. In order to do that and not have mice tear it out the next day, I'm going to put these boards on the bottom of the joist down low. Right? Then I'm going to cut um, plywood and start complement. And I'll put my insulation and that's the second one. So that's what I'm gonna work on.
two hours later.